Hello students, once again we are here with question number 27 and once again the question is from CAT 2019 slot 2. Let's have a look at the question. In an examination, Rama's score was 1 twelfth of the sum of the scores of Mohan and Anjali. After a review, the score of each of them increased by 6. The revised scores of Anjali, Mohan and Rama were in the ratio of 11, 10 and 3. Then Anjali's score exceeded Rama's score by how much? Let's have a look at this. So he says Rama's score was 1 by 12 times of the sum of the scores of Mohan and Anjali. After a review, the score of each of them increased by 6. So Rama's score was increased by 6, Mohan's score increased by 6, Anjali's score increased by 6. The revised scores of them, they are in a ratio of, and now the revised scores are given as A is to M is to R, Anjali, Mohan and Ram. They are given in a ratio of 11, 10 and 3. So Anjali's score exceeded Rama's score by how much? So what is the difference between the scores of Anjali and Rama? Now, first of all, when I look at the ratio, the difference between Anjali's and Rama's score is 8. 11 and 3, they differ by 8. So that means my answer must be a multiple of 8. Forget about 26, forget about 35. Either it is 32 or it is 24. Let us take one of these two. Uh, let's take 32. If I take 32 as a difference between their scores, currently the scores difference is 8. Question says it should be 32, which is 4 times of 8. That means this score should be 4 times of 11. This score should be 4 times of 10. And this score should be 4 times of 3. Now, these are the scores when they are increased by 6. So, what were the scores when they were decreased by 6? I mean, what were the initial scores? Can I say Anjali's initial score must have been 38, Mohan's initial score must have been 34, and Rama's initial score must have been 6. And according to the question, Rama's score, it should be 1 twelfth of the sum of their scores. What is the sum of their scores? It is 72, and exactly 6 is 1 twelfth of that. So, because it is satisfying, so straight away I can say 32 is the correct answer for this question. That's what we call as aptitude. Now, there is a possibility 32 might not have satisfied. If 32 would not have satisfied, I would have straight away said 24 is the answer. There was no need to check. Out of the four options, two were already eliminated. Out of the remaining two scores, if 32 is not the answer, of course, 24 is the correct answer. Now, in these questions, there is one more thing that I actually did not talk about in the middle. That was, what if the scores are in fractions? It is not necessary. If three numbers are in a ratio of 11, 10, 3, then 11 and 3 differ by 8. So their difference should always be a multiple of it. What if they are in fractions? 8 cancels out by something and the difference might be 5. But I mean, uh, once you practice these things, you will understand one thing. Rama's score is 1 12, the sum of their scores. Their scores are increased by 6. So when the scores are increased by an integer, score of one guy is 1 by 12 of the sum of the other. And ratio is also given to us. So in those cases, it becomes almost a surety that all numbers would be in integers. I am not denying the possibility of being fractions, but it is almost a surety. If you want to be absolutely sure, and let us say 32 does not satisfy, I would say try with 24 as well, right? 24 will not satisfy, then I would be looking for something else. Otherwise, if 24 satisfies, that would be the answer. If 32 satisfies, that would be the answer. In any case, you can answer it fast enough. That's an aptitude way of solving the question. Thank you very much.